so in this part of the course i want to show you how to use ai to format your book yes so what what this ai typically does is that whenever you have formatted your book inside microsoft word and you pick it and put it inside the ai then it can change your formatting it has the power to automatically select for you fonts it has the power to design your or your whole your whole book for you so this is specifically uh, good for people who are doing things like travel guides people who are doing things like relationship books yes those books which do not require too much formatting inside that's what that's the the type of books that use this ai format now here i have a sub, sample content which i've called con I just made a sample content i'm going to use this to show you how the tool works so typically i made i made just a beginning part chapter one a travel guide yes of a london travel guide i just got from chat gpt i'm going to be using it what demonstrate this now inside before you actually go ahead and demonstrate first things first you have to first make sure that your book you make sure that your book is well formatted inside microsoft word yes you make sure that everything the formatting i'm talking about is that you make sure your your header one you've done header one and header two yes you've done header one and header two and then you have changed you have done all the put the, all the what fonts to normal example like this one if i click on modify and i do this i want it to be at i want it to be at what 12 so i'll just put it at 12 then i click on new document and i click on ok so you can see now i have this document then i'll save so i'll save this document i formatted all this this is all header header two this is header two this header but for years you can make it header one and header two just like this make it just normal like this don't do anything extra just make it normal then you save it click on save after that you click on this to remove now after removing it all you have to do is come to google come to google and type microsoft microsoft so if i type microsoft you go, you're going to see that i'm going to see this now you scroll through and find this one this is microsoft 360 click on it and then it should bring for me the login now as as you can see for me it has already logged me in for you it will first ask you to log to bring for you the ask you to put your microsoft account details now usually this microsoft 360 is for, for for buying yes but then there's a free version which you can use for free and this is enough for what we want to do the free version is enough for what we want to do so all you have to do is now come here actually minimize this after minimizing it minimize it and then come here to this file pick it and drop it inside yes so i drop this file inside you can see that it's uploading it has uploaded and it's complete now i can close yes since it has uploaded i can close and i click here to open it yes so as you can see it is now opening it has opened in a new tab yes it opened by itself in a new tab as soon as you upload it will just open in a new tab yes the content i just up uploaded open a new tab now this is what it looks like currently yes this is what it looks now this is the thing this is what it looks like and you can see that it's looking normal it's looking like the same way we did it in the microsoft word but this this actually works online so it works online so you must be having internet in order for this to work now i want to actually make this look more beautiful now to make it look more beautiful i have to come to home yes click on home here make sure you're on home make sure you're on home there's nothing difficult that we're going to do here we're going to just, just do a simple thing so go to home and then come to this thing which says designer if you can see this designer so click on it this is the same ai that we're using to generate book cover yes you remember that book cover ai it's all made by microsoft so they work with they work the same way so if i click on designer here then i click on designer this one here click on it and then wait for it to open so as it has opened here so you can see these are all templates you can use to change the look of this document yes let me show you now what so if i if i want this one if i want this this all this you can see that it has the font and then it has some design so if i click on it it will apply to this so you wait and see so it says applying design in progress so wait for it to apply and then you can see what it looks like so as you can see it has applied this it has given me a first page now it has changed this yes it changed the font everything so you can see what is happening here you can see now it has made the design to look this way so if you look at this and you don't like it so you go ahead and click on the next click on the next one and then it will apply that next one and change this one so it's applying as you can see it made the first page now it has this it has chapter it has changed the font you can see how it has changed this font now you can go on and check you can see other things here what it has done so if you still you still you don't like it then you can go ahead and click on the next one and wait for it to apply so you can see the next one has applied i actually like i like this one i think i like this one so here you it has actually formatted for you the book and put the things in the order so as you can see what he has done so you keep on clicking so you keep on clicking until you find the one you like so if you like like this one if you like this one you can download it all you have to do is download it go to file yes after that click on save as and then click on download a copy download a copy to your computer so you click on download a copy to your and then click on download a copy so i click on download mm -hmm. as you can see it is being downloaded so it, it has downloaded and then i can click here to open it i want to open and see it now this is what it has done yes click on enable as you can see what it has done it has changed the way these things look so all i have to do is just click click here highlight this and then 
come here and click on this reduce this to one yes so this is reduced to one or you can even reduce it more click here click on line spacing then out after click on line spacing you see this thing where they're saying under spacing after after you reduce this from eight to zero so just click down here zero zero not auto make it at zero and you click on okay you can see what has happened it has moved it yes it has moved it up to here now you can play around with this and try to make it look good the way you want yes so you can play around with what he has chosen for you the colors already he has chosen for you the colors and you can play with that so you can see what i have here so i have chapter one london historical then continuous so as you can see this one this is not center line so i can i can make this uh, justified so i'll just click here click on modify and then justify the alignment where is it justify is here and i can click on this and i click on okay now you can see kind of justified so if i move this a bit like this now you can see i have a complete book design so this is the design i want if i like this then i can use it but if i feel like this is not good enough then i can get another design so i can keep on doing this make sure that this side is not justified move it this side yes you can see that so heading i just click modify and then it's on justified so i'll just click on left alignment make sure it's left aligned click on new document click on okay now you can see these things are now left aligned if you look at it now you're going to see that this actually now looks good it has chosen for you the font it chooses for you this font and it has chosen for you another font so it has chosen for you color and then it has made your book to now look now let's try another another one so let's keep on trying so as you can see this is still the the previous one so if i click here it will remove it and if i continue clicking you're going to see that it will keep on suggesting for me fonts changing the way the the content so if i click on this change that to that red color so you can see it still so if i click on this one let me see let's see what what has happened so you keep on clicking until you find what you're looking for so you see this one it's giving me green color and black so as you can see here it has black and green so keep on click uh -huh. i think i like like if you like it you just download it just click on file yes save as then go to download to your computer click this make sure click download a copy so it will download for your copy save a copy in your google drive and then in your microsoft it will save a copy here and then it will download for you so you just click here to open the downloaded one and then you edit it. so as you can see i'll click on enable so as you can see this is it so from here i'll just reduce this click on this and make it one yes after making it one then click this click on this and modify this this is already point first click on this this and then make sure normal modified and justified right <coughs> justified here click on this okay see this now from here uh from here what do we do go ahead make sure that header one is also defined left align new dot based on the template then you can also reduce the distance between this click on this yes so you keep on editing like that but you can see that he has chosen for you the font and he has chosen for you color make your book design look good so you can still make this look good all you have to do is highlight this make it one then make it now you can see this is what so this is good this is already good enough you can use this in your book if still you're not satisfied with this you can still go ahead and check more designs in your shaking until you find the designs that you want so it does a simple step clicking and click you can see this one i also like this one i think it's good i think this is good you can actually make your book look now keep on clicking keep on clicking and you can and see this is one of interiors so keep on clicking i think this one's also good i like it I like this one i can use keep on clicking there's actually this one with, with an email like see see this one see the first part here good so this already good enough and use it so if i want it i'll just file and click on download a copy make sure it is downloaded and download so it downloads a copy and then i can see what it is and use book so if i click here to open the content you're going to see what is happening so i click on enable editing and then see this is actually good so you can highlight this click this line spacing and remove it to one after that you go ahead, click on normal modify and then click on this modify click on new document based on this template okay so you can see what's up so i have chapter one london's history tapestry then you continue by using this also use the spacing to one and move it down like that then you continue do this also left align then reduce the spacing so you can see what is up yes so this is actually good very good so you can use this for your thing now the next thing let's see let's see, let's see more more designs so you just continue clicking this so if i scroll through you see this one this last one i can click on this and then let fly because so as it is applying be waiting for it so as you can see what he has done so made this but explore it explore it and see if you like it now for example now you see these are all previews and they are all this is the last one which i'm seeing but there's this thing which says show more theme yes show more themes so if i click on this show more themes it gives me more of them yes so if i click on this one you're going to see what so it is changed the color color so you can use so if i click on this next one again you can still see it has more so if i continue clicking you'll just be seeing the changes that are going to be yes so you'll continue seeing the changes that if i click on this again you can see more changes uh -huh. so you can see this one i actually like also i think it's good but now when you're trying to use an image you just download it after downloading it you make sure that you change it. yes if i download this click on maybe 
download a copy to your computer download or open it like this I click on enable let me say this, this one which i like so i'll just double click here make sure i'm on picture form change picture click on change this device and then look for a better click on download look for a better image and change so let's say this thing of changing pictures so just click on hit anyway do the same thing for this the same thing so that is how you use this AI. yes now I, I i have not showed you how to download the how to, how to log into the ai check the videos on youtube how to log into the AI. maybe if i get time i'll link it in the resource course resource group course resource section group and then you can find it there use it use this ai to make your book look good to make for you color choices font choice so with that said back to stop here